Now that we looked at the page setup for documents, let's look a little bit more at the overall look of the documents. Anytime you're dealing with formatting in Word documents, some friendly advice. Start with the general formatting of the document and then work your way down to the specifics of formatting. Specifically, when you're thinking of formatting a document, in other words, changing the look of it, try changing the overall look first. Maybe you want to set what is called a document theme. Now let's see what these themes look like. To get a good look at this, first thing we're going to do is scroll up to page two. Actually, you know what? We'll stay on page three. This is a good place. Here we see some headings, some subheadings, some regular text. Now what does the theme do? Let's find out. I'm going to click the design tab on the ribbon and the themes are actually on the left hand side of this design tab. And if I click the drop down arrow on themes, here's what we see. If you roll your mouse over some of these themes, you're going to notice a live preview. That's the official term, a live preview of what will happen if you select the theme. Now I want you to pay close attention here because not only do you see some color changes through these themes, but some fonts change too. For example, there's a pretty big difference here in fonts between this Berlin theme and this Damask theme. A theme is a combination of colors and fonts. So for example, with this Berlin, it's more of an orange color and a pretty typical sans serif, in other words, a font without feet. Whereas this Damask is a bit more of a green choice and a serif font. By feet, we mean those little tiny feet we see on some of these letters here like the letter P and the word typical. A good example of this is Times New Roman is a good serif font and Arial is a good sans serif font. So a couple of examples for you there. I would say in real life, just go with either what your standards are or what looks good to you. So I'm going through some of these themes. Just because it says stockholders on the page, I think I'm going to choose this dividend one that I saw here. Here we go. This one doesn't look too bad. So I'll click on this theme. Now within the theme, you can change the individual colors and the individual fonts. In fact, anytime you choose a theme, you probably ought to look to see what fonts were chosen. Only because I know of some workplaces where certain fonts are encouraged and certain fonts are highly discouraged. So we want to know what fonts we're working with in a document. So having chosen this theme, first thing I'm going to do is look at colors. And from this, you can actually change the color scheme a little bit if you want. Here, this violet one looks pretty good. Actually, it's violet two. I'll select this one. And then for fonts, if I click the drop down arrow here on the fonts, let's see which combination it's using. Gil Sans, not a bad choice. Of course, you have a lot of other combinations you can use here. And when you do choose a combination, understand that what you see at the top is going to be for the overall headings. What you see in the middle will be for the subheadings. And then what you see for the bottom is going to be your normal paragraph text. So it's pretty much up to you what you decide you want to use here. I think I'll go with this one. And then let's say I want to save this as a custom theme because this might be a theme I want to use on some other documents perhaps. To do that, I'm going to click the drop down arrow on themes and somebody already built a custom theme for the food truck, but I want to build a different theme. So I'm going to save this current theme and I'm going to call this one food truck two. Now a little real life situation here. This original food truck theme was actually created in Excel. Here's the point about your themes. No matter where you create them in Microsoft Office, specifically I'm talking about Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. As long as you save them in the default folder we see here, you can use these themes through your other Office programs. So this really helps you get a consistent look and feel throughout your Excel files, your Word files, and your PowerPoint files. Let me go ahead and click save. So now I've got a save theme I can use in other documents if I want to. 